temperature uh, is solar collector is higher than the uh, than input two than this input now this the, the the container down then it will pass the one on the output and on the on output is the uh, pump the pump has one the pump is on so it's uh, pump the water inside the container if input one this the solar collector is lower lower than input two then this minus input three this is the difference the, the hysteresis it's like um, And this is the temperature. This is time. Or it's the opposite. Okay. So this is the temperature that we want. I don't know, maybe 22 degrees Celsius. And when we turn on, the water is heating. And it starts this it stops starts stops starts stops start stops and this here is the <laughs> history Okay, no, I don't want to say it because it's ugly, but you understand it. So let's put the third hysteresis here and the output IO function. We have digital output one zero, and this is the pump. This is the basic function for uh, your solar collector. Next, uh, you I already told you that you have to do a picture, a BMP picture that you have to save it. Um, here is 103, and let's copy it and let's pass it to our C disk. We have only our and here we have uh, super brain we have BMP and let's put it inside so pass the number is 103 okay so let's close this let's go back to our back let's go on our super brain here and click useful IO um, here we have screen properties I don't know why it didn't collect uh, uh, analog input so here we have analog input 1 is temperature container down um, analog 2 is this is temperature so this is solar collector sorry solar collector and this one is temperature of container okay so collector let's name that and we have digital output is the pump pump so system description um I don't know, um, John Gatcho, it's just name, um, uh, Ohio to Ohio, and 
telephone telephone number is zero two hundred north. Just moving it up. Uh, it's program name solar collector. Okay, that's that. So let's um, put here screen properties and maximum screen. Let's choose one. Graphics screen, yeah. okay, one. And here we have load image. Do you remember the name of the image? We have 103. And let's load the image. And you see here is the image. And type, let's uh, choose analog input. The number is. Uh, this solar collector is one, okay, and one, and the other is the this temperature here. We have number is two, and we have one digital output. Digital output. This is pump. Mm, this format is here we have formats we have only three numbers so we, let's choose let's choose this one one six one six and the other one is one six two one six and the third digital output we have on off let's choose mm, one eight one eight okay Here's this, and next, what you have to do is go to the desktop, open this NetServe shortcut, yes, and in your menu, you have this NetServe. Click on Show Debug Page, and here set on your IP that is on your super brain. I have. 192.168.193 next here go on your screen setup and refresh close and you can close this let's go to back and here you have the compile and send program to controller. Let's compile and let's send all. Let's see what the controller is doing. Here is the program for the previous lesson. Okay, so it's it's getting program. Program was sent to the controller. Total, total program size is 100. Total parameter size is 200. Okay. Let's display the data. And it's uh, here's temperature sensor and It's not working properly. Okay, solar collector is doing great. Stereosis is doing the job. Pump. Let's power. Here it's uh, it's working, but on super brain, it seems that uh, it here is off, but shouldn't be on but we can force here just click on this uh, mapped epsilon register here um, you can see the values 
here or uh, on a single point or uh, multi points so let's click the multi points and just click here here and here okay so this one is bigger than this and that's why the egg, uh, the output is one if if the water in the containers rise as you see here the output changes to zero down As you see, it's working properly. Uh, so this is the WHY function. To see the values that we have on our outputs, and I hope you enjoy this lesson, and see you in next one.